Hey, it's Gareth Flood here. If you've ever asked the question, what is B2C marketing? You've come to the right place. If you've asked the questions, am I in B2C? Should I be in B2C? How do I make money in B2C marketing? I'm here to answer these questions in this video. Now, there's a lot of misconceptions in this area of marketing. So let's get into clarifying these right now. In this video, we're going to go over what B2C marketing is, and it's a definition that may surprise you. We're going to cover the two biggest mistakes that people make in B2C marketing. Lastly, I'm going to give you an activity for you to start building insights about the customers of your company so that you can start to serve their needs better. All right, let's get into it. So what is B2C marketing? In asking this question, what you really try to understand is the environment that your business operates in. For example, B2B and or B2C and the implications therefore on your marketing strategies and plans. The first step in any strategy, B2C or B2B, and I will be going into B2B deeply in another video. The first step is to identify who the customer is and what they need. The customer is key and must be at the heart of all strategy and planning activities. And from there, the marketing activities differ. So let's talk about a simple definition for B2C marketing. In B2C marketing, individuals consume your product. So let's look at two examples. B2C marketing. I bought this, I consumed it. Coca-Cola and Apple, I bought it, I consumed it. I'm the customer. I went and bought purchased directly from these companies and I used it, or in this case, I did actually consume it. So I'm the customer and I'm the consumer. I use the product, I consume the product, hence B2C marketing. If you look at their communications, it's directed as me, as an individual, as a consumer and as an end customer. I am the user of these products, therefore all of their communications is targeting me. Versus in B2B, another business consumes your product. So keep it really simple. In B2C, individuals consume the product or service, and in B2B, another business consumes the product. So even using those two simple definitions, you can already see there'll be a divergence or a difference in buying criteria and decision criteria for the product or service. And that is why it's so important to go back to identifying the customer and what is their need. If you want to assess how your business is doing against the marketing framework to find out where you're strong and where you are weak and what you need to fix now, get a free marketing assessment template in PDF format by clicking on the link below. You can click on that, download it immediately, check off how your business is doing against the overall marketing process and figure out what you need to focus on next to grow your business. So click on that, get it now. We're going to cover the two biggest mistakes that people make in B2C marketing. The first is that a different type of content is required. B2C content tends to require simpler, easier to understand information that quickly communicates the benefits. Often aligned with an, an emotional incentive or hook to get the message across quickly. And this is particularly relevant in more lower priced B2C products. Got a headache, migraine, painkillers. Oz acts twice as fast. Dry chap lips, dry skin, lip balm. Thirsty, Coca-Cola. You get the point. The second biggest mistake in B2C marketing is that your marketing communications must speak to different type of influencers. So another big misconception here, people think that influencers is a relatively recent phenomenon with the growth of social media. And suddenly you had influ uh, Instagram influencers and all these influencers with reality TV shows, etc., etc. And everybody's striving to be an influencer so they can get paid a million dollars to tweet or show something brand of makeup, whatever, whatever. Now, people have always used influencers so even before we had social media and named influencers, people 
ask their friends and family and work colleagues about products. When they have a need that is triggered, they ask people, I have a need, I have dry skin, what do you use? Oh, I use this cream, or I've seen this cream, I've heard about this cream, it's good. So people have always sought influencers to ask recommendations about different products. And therefore, even if you were to remove social media influencers, you're still targeting the key influencers in shopping and in families and in friends and family. And that's what you're doing also with B2C marketing. Now it has become a lot easier and a lot more prevalent to use influencer marketing, and it is a strong force within B2C. So the task remains the same. As marketers, you must look for the most optimal channel and advocates or influencers to promote your brand. And it doesn't have to be a specific influencer. I'll give you one example, um, mothers. So groups like Mumsnet or some very powerful social media groups, um, actually Facebook groups, if you can get in with the admins and the group promoting your thing, you'll do well. Now that's not a named influencers, but in the world of motherhood and parenting, if you can target certain groups and online groups, you will do very well. And that's still going after influencer marketing rather than a named particular thing. However, at a certain point in time, if you can associate your product with a couple of key influencers, it certainly works. And it is a very big thing in B2C marketing. The biggest example of all, of course, is Nike with what they did with Michael Jordan. And I did a whole another separate video on this case study of Nike and how they did that. So you can check that video out. But basically, Nike wasn't the top performer they are now. Actually, Adidas was doing better than them until they hit the deal with Michael Jordan and then they just skyrocketed and went from there. So they were talking to the right target group with the right influencer targeting the right young people interested in basketball. So the task is to find groups or influencers that appeal to your target market and the target market really is interested in listening to what they have to say and will actually be influenced by them and they have to appeal to the target market otherwise you are wasting your time and money Ugh. click versus i know what i'm getting for christmas target market selection hey if you like this content i've got a free video for you just simply head over to my website at steps to growth.com and you can check out that free video so here's a simple easy to do activity for you or people in your company to start doing. See, at the heart of any good marketing strategy is customer insight. From day one, you can start to build insight about the customers of your company to help you to serve their needs better. So here's the activity. Step number one, identify who the key customers of your company are and pick one of them that interests you. Step number two, talk to them directly as appropriate. Yeah, chat with your colleagues, visit their websites, view any research to find out what you can about them. And then, step number three, write a short summary to share with your colleagues, other people in your business, and outline some of the implications of your findings of what you found out about insights about this customer. And that is a simple activity to start building customer insight generation with yourself and within your company. So the message is clear. Get focused on your target customer in your target market and then build your plan accordingly. If you want help building your marketing plan, you can join our Marketing Plan Accelerator course to get your whole marketing plan done within six weeks at a pace that suits you. So if that interests you, head over to stepstogrowth.com to find out more. What is your favorite B2C product that you like and consume and why? Let me know in the comments below and we'll see if there's some sort of consistency to what people are saying. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe as this really supports the channel and I will see you in the next video.